Hey guys and welcome. Today's video is on Pixelmon. I know it's a mod spotlight. I've never done a mod spotlight before. It's not even a plug-in spotlight. This is a mod. It's the first one I've ever done. You start off by downloading Pixelmon, so there'll be links in the description. And then you also need to download Forge. Then you'll also need to download MCPC Plus. And basically this is if you want to run a server, otherwise you won't need it. So if you just want to use it in single play, you don't need it. I've got them already downloaded. They're all here. So your files will look like this. And basically you want to start off by installing Forge, so double click the Forge one, then install it where it says, it will just install it into your Minecraft folder, and that will be that set up. So to find your Minecraft folder, you just go to your folders, go up here and type in percent app data percent, and that will just find your roaming folder. So I'll quickly do that. And as you can see, I was already there anyway, but I just wanted to show you. Then you open up Minecraft, and as you can see, you've now got a mods folder. Obviously, I've already got a few installed, but Pixel One will be there. As you can see, this is actually a newer version, so I can actually delete my old one. So Pixel One's in my mod folder, and that's actually all you need to do, really, for the single player one. So now I can just play it single player. I don't even need this file here. All I needed was to install Forge. Then if I run Minecraft, you'll see it looks slightly different, because when you select your profile, you'll be able to select an option called Forge. And then all you do is play, and then it will just let you log in. So just wait for it to load. It will download all the normal files. Then it will show you at the bottom that you've got mods installed. So as you can see, I've got four mods installed, all that sort of thing. Just go single player, create new world, and then just create a new world, call it whatever you like. So I'll just call it YouTube Pixel One. Create a new world, it will take a second to load it. And then basically it will load up just like it would on the Game Boy or whatever you used to play Pokemon on. And there you go. As you can see, it's a fan made mod, all the copyright stuff just basically covering their ass. Then it will let you choose your Pokemon. So I always love Charmander, so I'll choose him. And then if you press R on your keyboard, it will send the Pokemon out. So as you can see, he's been sent out. And if you press R again, it will recall them. So if you run around, you will see Pokemon. They do spawn everywhere. I mean, they can be a little far apart. So just quickly look for them. Obviously, if I was actually trying to make a Pixelmon map, I'd do it in game mode. So I'm in single player, so I can't. This is the use of having a server. Obviously, you could build a map that way, or you could download a map. So, oh, are these Pokemon? Yeah, so here's some Pokemon. Obviously, these ones are naturally fighting each other. But I could fight another one if I wanted. They're obviously a bit high level for me. So, just try and find a low level one. Oh, come back. Come back. Oh, Weedle. Yeah, I'll try and fight the Weedle. You just press R, throw it at it. You have to try and hit it. So, as you can see, once you've hit it, it'll put you into it. You go fight. And it's just the same as Pokemon would be, you just scratch or whatever the moves. And as you level up, you will gain moves. So as you can see, your eyes hurt. So sometimes this can be a little slow, but obviously it is a mod. It will glitch out now and then like this. But overall, I'd say the gameplay is really good. And I do enjoy playing it. There was a server I logged into and played Pixelmon. There was about 100 players online, I think. And it was actually really decent. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. You will have to be logged on on Forge to play this and have the mod installed. And as you can see, we both died basically, so we've both ran out. So it would obviously take a little longer to show you the items in single player, so I'll run over them in multiplayer because obviously I can change my game mode. So if we just go onto here, open up your Forge file again, and then basically this will produce a file. You don't want to install your client, you want to install your server, and you want to install it into your folder this time, so you do actually want to select your files, go into documents, I've made a folder just called Pixelmon, and then just save it here, and then you'll see a load of files get created, and it'll just take a couple of minutes, so come on, it's normally a bit quicker than this on my computer, alright, is it going to work, I don't know. But basically just copy your Pixelmon across as well, because you will need this as well. So just pop that in here as well. And eventually it will have a mods folder in here as well, so you'll pop it in. But for now I'll just paste it here. So as you can see it's successfully completed. Paste that there. And obviously I've got this little starter file. So if I rename this one. So I'll name this one Server Starter. 
and that's just basically to keep it simple. Then this file here, I've obviously got it already, you won't have. All you have to do is create a text file, paste this in, it'll be in the description, and then put whatever you've called the file here, so server starter, and obviously this number here associates to how much RAM you've got, so you can either divide it or times it to get whatever you want, so if you want 3 gigs, 1 gig, whatever you want. So then you just save that, save it, but you don't want to save it as a text document, you want to change that to all files, and then at the end of the name you want to put .bat, and basically this creates a file that lets you start the server, so you can X out of that, and then if you double click that, you'll see this come up and it will load up all the files, and it will basically just create your server, create your world, and as you'll see it will pop them all up, so as you can see the mods folder has been created, so is the plugins folder. So just wait for this all to load, and then you can pop all your files in. So it normally takes a little while on the first load. So as you can see it's done, so just type in stop, and that'll just stop it. And then it'll say press any key, and it will exit. So then just drag Pixelmon into your mods, and then plugins, just find plugins, download them from Bucket. I've obviously got a few installed on my computer anyway, so I'll just copy Essentials over. So just paste that in. And then go back and then start the server again. And then if you go onto your Minecraft, you'll be able to actually log into your local host and play. Obviously this would work on a server host as well if you installed it all. So logging in, please wait. It's just loading up all the files. And there you go, because it's my first login, I get to create it again. So Charmander. So there will be Pokemon about, obviously there's pigs and stuff on here, you have to go into your server file and just turn animals off if you don't want animals, because obviously in a Pokemon world, preferably you just have Pokemon and not actually have mobs. So I'll just run around, there will be Pokemon somewhere, come on. As I said, sometimes it can take a while when you first spawn to find any. I think there's one over this hill. Yeah, there's some over here. So it's Sandra, is it? Yeah, Sandslash. Uh, and whatever this one is. I don't know. I haven't really played any of the newer Pokemon, so I don't really know any of these. I just know, like, the original ones. But anyway, that's that's basically how to install it and get it working. If I change game mode, I'll just quickly opt myself. So if you want to opt yourself, just do it in the console like that. And then obviously change my game mode. If I press inventory I can look at the items so scroll to the very bottom on the search items and it'll have all the custom items so quickly scroll down and you'll be able to see there's pokeballs, there's fossils, there's all sorts here so you can get all your computers this is why I'd suggest actually building a map first just to make it more fun that way you can have like a Pokemart and stuff like that so you've got all your TMs, your badges so I'll just pick a few items out just to show you so where's the computer there is, so I can heal my Pokemon on here. Um, Pokeballs here, so if I chuck that out of Pokemon, it will catch it if it's damaged enough. Um, obviously, all these different blocks that you can build and players can mine up. But I'll just get one more thing. I'll just get a badge out, so you can collect all the badges. Obviously, just pick them up or whatever. There it is. It's on the floor. You pick it up and you've got a badge. So. Obviously I'll just change my game mode again, pop the healer down, and if I right click it you can see my Pokeball goes on there, and then my Pokemon will be fully healed, obviously he's not injured anyway so you won't see it, but that's how that works, and then if you throw a Pokeball at a Pokemon, it'll actually catch it, obviously neither of these are injured and they're really high level so it probably won't work, no it hasn't worked, but that's how it would work. There'll be a download link in the description below to all this, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, I'm going to enjoy playing it. Thanks for watching guys and please remember to rate, subscribe and comment. Cheers.